to my house. This ne King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar, a heathen king. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was the rest of my house and flourishing in my palace. You know, Pastor Brian said a lot, you know, uh, this morning about foreign kings, and and uh, we we have to understand that kings in this day. Uh, I'll just exaggerate this a little bit. They didn't have electricity back in those days. But if your electricity was out because of a storm, and you, it was too cold to take a shower, and you came around the king and you had a little bit of body odor, they could whack your head. <laughs> wow, that's if crazy. they were in a bad mood, if they had a headache, they didn't like your nose, your ears. So. Okay. Uh oh. Oh yeah. All right. Thank God. Wow. Uh, look at Syria right now. Look what happened in Iraq. Yes. See, they, uh, the Christians there, then they, they, they put that poison out there. So we're going to look at Nebuchadnezzar, um, who has many people in bondage, the children of Israel. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house, flourishing in my palace. This king gets up one day just like any other day. Biden knows busy and said, I'm, I'm at rest. I'm in my palace. I got it going. I got game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if I'm in a bad mood, somebody somebody take me off its curtains. Right. Good for them. I'm in power. Yeah. I'm in authority. I have a throne here. I have dominion. Mm. I have my reaching. Mm -hmm. Let me just inject this so I don't forget to put this in. That when you read this book by Tim Sheets on, on uh, angel armies, it talks about taking regions. See, and here, very careful. Okay, warning, warning. Don't try to take the whole world. Don't try to shake this nation. Don't try to take this city for God if you can't control your thoughts. Yes. If you can't keep your clothes on with people you're not married with. Yes. If you can't control fear. Right. And stubborn self-will, independent spirit. Yes. Don't try to take the land outward if you won't give God authority over yes, you inwardly. Amen. There's a throne. Say what's the set of a throne in your mind, your will, your emotions, yes. your heart, your sexual realm, your finances, your attitude, your mouth, yes. your motives. Yes. Deal with. Yes. Don't try to take that out there if I won't give God authority yes. over the inward man. Yes. That's just extra. Yes. That's just extra. Yes. Nebuchadnezzar just minding his own business. Yes. <laughs> got plenty of honey's around, got plenty of money. Everybody's scared. Everybody's afraid of him. Mm -hmm. I was at rest. Nobody else was at rest. Right. <laughs> the king's at rest. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody else in torment, fear. And he's in a bad mood. I never came as I was at rest in my house. My, yeah. be a lot of personal pride. And flourishing in my, in my palace. Wow. My house, my palace. I saw a dream. <laughs> There's going to be a divine interruption. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got his throne. He's got his dominion. He's got his kingdom. <coughs> he's got his territory. got his region. Wow. Nobody dare except maybe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He forgot about one he couldn't control. Praise God. <laughs> So here he is, minding his so bit this he think, man, I have arrived. Nobody can mess with me. Oh, Hang no. on, we are going somewhere. Nobody can mess with me. And here's the dream. Who would reach him by the tree? Right. Oh, God. <laughs> I saw a dream which made me afraid. Good. No one else could make him afraid. Right. No other nation, no other kingdom. But he has a dream that made him afraid. And the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Pause. Uh, when people get in the sand, they're convinced they're winning. Mm -hmm. When they lay down their head upon the pillow, yeah, there's some guilt, there's some condemnation, there's some... They just don't feel real good about themselves. That's why they're. That's why there's got to be alcohol, drug to anesthetate yes. where they really are with God. Yeah. Yeah. How selfish they are! How bright! So they got to anesthetize themselves. 
so they won't realize who they really are. Because they got their little kingdom. Anybody beside me ever been real comfortable with self idolatry? Yeah. And tell. Yes. Come on, Saint of God. Yes, Lord. I saw a dream that made me afraid. The thoughts upon my bed. Now, here he is. What a powerful, in the natural, powerful man. Got a dominion, kingdom, rule. And there he is in bed with no peace. Yeah. He's in bed, trouble. Think about Michael Jackson. Yeah. All the money, all the fame, all that, all that he had. In the net, everything that the world would have, all the women, all the money he could have, everything, the fame, the popularity, yes. and the man can't sleep. Yeah. Yeah. The, man, the man would exchange means of dollars just for one night's sleep. Wow. Here's King Nebuchadnezzar. Ever, all the power, all the authority, a great throne. Have you ever taken control of your life if they escape free now? Yeah. <laughs> Until you lay down. Yeah. And so he, he has a dream that troubles him. He laid upon his bed and he troubled and he's afraid. Verse 6, therefore, I made a decree. Nebuchadnezzar makes a decree to bring in, I'm going to bring all my witchcraft people. I'm going to bring in all my wise men of Babylon before me, that they might make known to me the dream. Now, he's got all these people on payroll. Yeah. They're all yes men. Right. Yeah. That's why they're on the payroll. Yeah. No one would dare. Right. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear. Who wants to get their head whacked? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Saints of God. Yeah. They're on the payroll. Yeah. So he got all these people on the payroll. He got all the yes men. And that, right. that has a demonic witchcraft thing. Yes. Okay, so he brings in uh, all his, uh, to, he brings in these people, the wise men, what he called the wise men, to, uh, interpret, to interpret the dream. Then came in the magician. The magicians in the Hebrew living, they sought supernatural knowledge by use of magic and sorcery. Oh, my. They want the, they want the no thing, see? Yeah. Um, People want to know everything about everybody else. They won't let God know them. Yes, don't know God for themselves. Right. And try to tell everybody else what they ought to know. And don't even know God for themselves. Yes. So they're called magicians. They uh, said in the astrologers, uh, well, the, the mag magicians sought supernatural knowledge by use of magic and sorcery. And that the sorcery include pharmacia drugs. Okay, the astrologers... And the astrologers study the stars and planets so they think we can figure things out by the stars and the planet and the times and seasons. Yeah. The Chaldeans are royal counselors, wise men. And in our society today, they'd be the psychologists and the philosophers. Oh, so he's got all the people on the payroll and the, then the soothsayers. And the soothsayers being fortune-telling to utter spells to read by demonic inspiration to foretell. Okay, that's what... Uh, our convention speaker, uh, he would talk about the, the witchcraft game that they would play, that someone would come into a, a palm reader or, or a, a medium, and uh, they have a demon. A demon would tell them, the medium, something about the past. Right. Yes. And then another demon would tell them something about the present. Mm -hmm. And then, they, of course, they would say, okay, now here's what's going to happen. Well, when uh, this is going to happen to you, we, we, you've got a problem that's going to happen, but there's a solution uh, the solution just cost you $2,000. Wow. And so they go, well, I'm not going to pay you $2,000. And then when they leave, a demon goes with them and start putting it into order and circumstances what the demon mm -hmm. said, what they said, what the medium said would happen. Yeah. So when the circumstances begin to come into alignment with what the witch said, yeah. Yeah. they come back, you know, I think I might cough up that $2,000. Wow. So it's a money making scheme. Yeah. Okay, so that's, they're on the payroll. Yeah. They're making money. Okay, that's what the wise men did in, in that day. They're, they're witches, they're warlocks, they're soothsayers, they're mediums, they're, they're, they're in a, so in other words, just like Pastor Dan was saying, there's a, there's a demonic voice, okay? So let me, let me say this again, that, uh, and, and this, these, I can't remember for sure who gave this word, but, but to, to know the, the right voice, remember that angels mean this. Angels can be, uh, the, in number one, it means messenger. Angel means messenger. It can be either from God, from man, or from the dark side, from the devil. Okay? 
Wisdom is knowing the difference. Yes, yes. Surely we can tell the difference between death and life. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. Unless we like to lie to ourselves. Yes, Lord. Yeah, that's true. And play a, a, the role of the victim. Yes. Okay, so we, we, we have to understand that Satan will disguise himself as an angel, angel of light. Okay, so here he's got these people on payroll. They're making money. And they're making money by, by uttering spells and things from the dark side. Demonic voices and activity within Babylon. Okay, so he brings them in and he tells them the dream. Now remember, now the natural mind, the natural mind cannot comprehend things of the spirit. So here they are. They come in, he brings all these people in. They got no payroll. And so they can't tell him the meaning of He tells them the dream and they can't tell him the meaning of the dream. The natural mind cannot comprehend the things of the spirit. We really need to understand, and the hour that we're living in, we got to understand spiritual things. Yes. And uh, all Satan really needs to do to keep us from fullness, mm -hmm. not necessarily salvation. If Satan can't stop us from becoming saved, he wants to stop someone from becoming fully, becoming yes. like Christ. Yes. Yet you never get your inheritance, you never enter to your destiny, you never really find your purpose, you're in church, but bored, dead, frustrated, unfulfilled, dissatisfied, frustrated, and angry and mean. Right. And when other people are alive, yeah. you try to someone there's a tent, try to pull them down. Yes. Like, That's not real. It's a lot from that. Right. It, it is real. Yes, yes, Lord. But I got to pay the price yes, to get right with God. Yes, Lord. Okay, so he 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 had this great kingdom, very powerful, influential kingdom, and he had the dream. He thinks I, I'm set. Things are smooth sailing now, and all of a sudden the dream comes. And there's no answer in Babylon. Mm -hmm. So he, he, they didn't know they didn't know how to make known the interpretation thereof. And verse eight, but at, but at the last Daniel came in. Daniel came in, who they named. Now remember, now this is important. They never said this one little thing here. Is that they called him Belshazzar, which means Bel protect his life. No, God gonna protect his life. Yeah. So they're trusting in demonic. Now, what I'm telling you is that the world will want to name you. Yeah. But why is it Billy? Yeah. Speed freak Sally. Yeah. Cocaine yeah. Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they want to name you. They're trying to identify you, okay? Yeah. Now. Okay, so they bring Daniel in. So Daniel, the, they've they've named him. But he knows who he is in God. Okay, he knows his identity is in God. So he he's in Babylon, but he's not of Babylon. Okay, he's he's a, a Hebrew. Okay, so they bring Daniel in before him, whose name who they called uh, Belteshazzar, according to the name of his God, who's uh, in whom now this is what he says. Okay, in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. The spirit of the Holy God. Now, there's only one true God. All the others are false, okay? Yes. The reason the reason Nebuchadnezzar say that that's their mindset. Yeah. There, there's all kinds of, go to go to India today, they got thousands, yeah. thousands of, of, of false gods, okay? Mm -hmm. right. And whom in the spirit of the holy gods, that's that's his that's how he perceived Daniel. There's only one God, yeah. and Daniel's only served of one God. So but he, he's, his mindset is he, he's got the, he understands as a heathen, Daniel has something. Yes. He's defining it wrong, but he realizes there's something different. Yes. You know, they may, they may reckon there's something different about you. They don't understand you're talking in tongues. They don't understand <laughs> river come out. Or so think about you, they don't understand, yes. but they know there's something different about you. They may mock you, they may ridicule you, they may persecute you, they may avoid you, they may separate from you. Yeah. But then, yeah. when something happened yeah. and it looks disaster like disaster sent you, you may get a phone call. Yes. Yeah. And they may ask yes. you for prayer. Yeah. And do they mean that to you? Right. Say all kinds of things about you. Yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't ne negatively affect them because we're so connected with God, we're not attracted to death anymore. Amen. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Nebuchadnezzar said, uh, let's get Daniel in here because uh, he's got the spirit of the Holy God before him. And, uh, and I told Daniel the dream, saying, O oh, Daniel, master of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the Holy God is in thee, and no, no secret troubles you. 
You're not scared. <laughs> you're not afraid. There's something different about you, Daniel, because you're not afraid to be like. Amen. Then you know something. If the king were to kill him, he's in heaven. He gets promoted. Yes. Things get better, not right. worse. Amen. That's what Pastor God. Bible say this morning. If he falls over yes. dead, don't pray for him don't to be pray. resurrected. <laughs> Don't, don't bring you back here. Yes. 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 I'm serious. Yeah. So they can see over and over. You had to understand. People don't understand real Christian. They don't understand real Christian. Yes. That's what he's saying. You're not afraid of me. The other people that come before me, they're trembling. Right. They're scared. Yeah. And then there's something different about you. If you yeah. stay before me, you're not scared. Amen. No secret troubles you. Tell me the visions of the dream that I have seen and the interpretation thereof. Thus were the visions, so now he, he's going he's to say the dream. Thus were the visions of my head in my, in my bed. Now, so then basically, a lot of dreams are just like a movie. I mean, it's just technicolor, you hear voices, you voice connotation, you, have, you feel. Uh, loudness, softness, gentleness, You've, there's uh, a lot that goes on in a dream. So here's this very powerful, influential um, a man with great authority, a king who's at uh, everything going real well, and one day a dream, one night a dream comes. So he's now explaining the dream to Daniel. Thus for the vision of my head, verse 10, and in my head I saw, and I behold a tree in the midst of the earth. And the height of this tree was very great. The tree grew. Uh, I, I'm so tempted. I was trying to steal my own thunder here. That I want to interpret this as before. The tree grew and was strong in the height thereof, reached in the heaven. And the sight that uh, I want to be, the height there reached up to heaven. And the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. The leaves thereof of the tree were fair. And the fruit thereof much. Wow. And then it was meat for all. Praise God. Mm. And the beast of the field had shadow under it. Mm -hmm. And the fowls of heaven dwelt under the boughs thereof. And all flesh were fed off of it. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, behold, a watcher. A watcher. Amen. An angel. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, behold, a watcher. Supernatural visitation of God. Now, we talk about dream angels. I just, you know, I don't want to get, we could come up with all kind of conjecture, just how the, all this works. We don't need to, you know, people might come up with different opinions, just exactly how this all works. That's not the issue. The issue is, is that the, here's this wicked heathen king, and he caused him trouble. And he's serving false gods. And one day he's minding his own bed. Then, and somebody, no one on earth can reach him. Yes. But God yes. reaches him by a dream. Yes. 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 So God then attracts him to someone wow. that's of a different spirit. Amen. Daniel wow. had an excellent spirit. Yes. Something different about Daniel. Amen. Okay, so then I saw in the visions of my head wow. upon my bed. I, I've had, and, and some of you here, you have too. Mm -hmm. I've had dreams from years ago, and I could just give you, I could just stay here and tell you the detail. Yes. yes. I had to read, I write them down, but I could give you exact detail. Yeah. Yes. Second for second. So good, some of you, that you've had that kind of powerful dream. And yes. so here, he, no, he didn't write a thing down. He told this is so real to him. Yes. He's scared. God has done something to get a great, powerful, influential king attention. Amen. And he has somebody, Daniel, a prophet, mm -hmm. wow. which is the type of the prophetic church oh. that God has chosen to preach yes. to and through, yes. come on, think of God, yes. that he's in position, he's oh. in Babylon, but he is not disconnected from heaven. Oh. Amen. So when somebody on earth as powerful and wicked and influential as Nebuchadnezzar is, there's got to be a church, there's got to be prophetic people, a remnant church that has an ear to hear, that they're not seduced by Babylon, they're not controlled by
by, yes, by, 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 by Babylon, that they are in the world, but they're not of the world, and they have not been disconnected from heaven. You'll see people, even in church, disconnected from God. Spent out daydreaming. i got to get, I need a good Holy Ghost slap every now and then to wake up. Now tune in. Sometimes I'm on the wrong, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'll just say, in the spirit of the wrong radio station. Right. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. That's true. That's so they want to tell you every oh, now. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's true. Amen. Making yeah. the critical about finding, judging, yeah. selfish, yeah. junkyard dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I summoned the vision to my head upon my bed. Behold a watcher and a holy one. Now, this when you look this up in the Hebrew, like a guardian angel, it means to wake. It means through the idea of opening the eyes. What's happening? This man is spiritually blind. Yeah. Come on. This yeah, man is spiritually wow. blind, and God going to bring a watcher. Wow. See, if, think, think awesome. upon the letter, there, there's watchers upon the wall. Yes. God has watchers in the. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Atmosphere. Amen. Amen. And so basically, here's what here's what happened. I saw the vision of my head upon my bed, behold, and watcher, the Holy One, came down from heaven. Came down from where? Heaven. Came down from heaven. Oh. Who had that been watching? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Oh. Come on, saints of God. Yeah. They're connected with heaven, watching. Awesome. Come on, saints. Okay, so he cried aloud. The watcher cries aloud and said, wow. Cut down the tree. Wow. So then the kid is going to want to know who the tree is. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God, my God. Oh, yes. Wow. Um, how could that? It was a lush tree. Wow. Not only have I had God pull the rug out from under me every now and then. I look and here come a lumberjack with a big chainsaw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I get my attention. Yeah. You know, I think it's time to humble myself. Chainsaw. Yes, Lord. The watcher spent the holy one, angel holy. Uh, I think it's in Luke, the angel says, I, I'm dead Russ. I stand in the presence of God. Yeah. You don't live it. You don't dwell in the presence of God being dirty, filthy, unholy, unclean, immoral. No. You can be in the church, but you won't be in the presence of God. Right. You'll be in the building. Yes. Yes. He cried aloud and said, Thus, cut down the tree, cut off its branches, shake off its leaves, scatter its fruit, let the beast get away from under it. And the files from under its branches. Now, the next thing, very powerful. Don't, don't wow. miss this. This is a key. Wow. Nevertheless, wow. leave the stump of its roots in the earth. Amen. Wow. Leave the stump. Wow. We will. We clearly yeah. will come back to that. Yes. Get the... Cut down the tree, but leave the stump. Because things can grow back from a yeah, stump. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. Nevertheless, you ever been cut down? Think it's over. Nevertheless, leave the stump of its roots in the earth, oh even God. with a band of iron. Mm. Iron represents bondage. Brass means judgment. In the tender grass of the field, let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let his portion be with the beasts of the grass of the earth. Wow. You know, in the beginning, oh I think in the beginning with them, with uh. this. Well, let me go on it. Let, uh, let it be with the beasts of the grass of the earth. Verse 16. Let his heart be changed from man's. Let his heart be changed from man. Amen. That's horrible. Give him a beast or an animal heart. Wow, that's crazy. I think you begin to see why uh, Nebuchadnezzar is a little troubled at this. Yes. <laughs> Let a beast heart see. Uh, basically, people will, people will come to church, 
And they take church, put five dollars or whatever, they say, I'm a Christian. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nice person. The nice people don't go to hell. Born again people go to hell. I'm sorry, I thought I was in church. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that. Nice people, no, nice people don't, don't go to, to heaven. You must be born again. There's nice people in hell. Because they're not born again. Everybody is sin. That's true. Even nice people. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Now, this may shock some of you, but. It may shock some of you, but even Pastor Jan seen it in her day. Now, you can picture me. You can picture me being a, a sinner. Oh, yeah. Pastor Jane once had a philosophy. She had a theory. She had a philosophy of life that the whole world would be better if everybody smoked marijuana. Oh, yeah. That was Pastor Jane. Now, they can picture me. They think I'm the fifth of sinner. Pastor Jane, come on. Pastor Jane sinned too. <laughs> nice people don't go to heaven being nice people. Amen. Yeah, even no. nice people have sinned. Now, how, how are you going to get into heaven with unforgiven sin? Right. See, you must be. There has to be a heart change. Many people join the church, but they've never been to the cross. So the heart has not been changed. It takes a supernatural change of heart. So God says, okay, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, I'm going to deal with your heart. I'm going to change you from having a man's heart to have a heart of a beast. You're going to go from bad to worse. This is powerful. Let his heart be, this is, this is the watcher, this is the holy one, decree, proclaiming, it's going to happen. Yes. It's just like someone standing before uh, a judge in the courtroom and they've been arrested for, for, uh, for murder and 50 years in prison. It's going to happen. Right. It's a decree. It's a proclamation. Yeah. It's like a judicial uh, uh, yeah. uh, choice. So there's, there's a decree that's made. Let his heart be changed to that of an animal. And let seven times pass over him. Wow. This matter is by decree. Wow. This matter is by decree, which means a judicial decision or an order, a command. I mean, to command events that are foreordained, decided, eternal purposes of God. Wow. It's decreed. Wow. And we'll see later. Uh, the, 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 the decree comes from heaven. The matter is decreed of the watchers. And the demand, the demand by the word of the holy ones, that word demand there in the Hebrew is like a judicial mandate, just like I said. Yes, Murder, guilty, 50 years in the clink. A decree. They walk him away, put him in the thing, and drive him off to the prison, 50 years. It's a, it's a judicial, it's a, it's a uh, judicial mandate. Yeah. By the word of the holy ones, by the word of the Holy One, to the intent, yes, awesome. to the intent that yes. the living, yes. to oh. the intent that the living awesome. may know yes. that the living, oh. this will be decreed, yes. this will happen. Oh, that's so awesome! That oh. the living may know yes. that the Most oh. High yes. rules yes. Amen. Amen. in the kingdom oh. of men. Amen. Hallelujah! Now. Nebuchadnezzar think I got me a king that nobody's going to mess with me. I got power, I got authority, I got dominion. I got my region. I got my nation. And poop out his chest, cock back his head, nobody mess with me. And then one day a dream comes. That changes everything. So he says, something going to happen here to the intent. The matter decreed by the watchers and demand of the word, the man command by the, by the word of the Holy One to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules Amen. in the kingdom of men so and will awesome. give it to whoever he wants that to. That is so awesome. So what's, it, what's this king? So awesome. What's going to happen to this king? 
He needs to know that there's a king of kings. Yes. Amen. He needs to know that there's someone bigger, more powerful. We can become so focused on the, the demons, the one fallen, the one fallen, one third of, of the angels failed. That means two thirds did fall. Yes, Lord. So that means we win. Yes. We need to utilize the two thirds against the one third. Yes. Secondly, think of all the believers oh. upon the face of the earth. Yes. And we have been given power and authority over all the power of the enemy. Oh. What are we doing with that yes, power and that authority? Oh. Yeah. I'm going to do something to the intent that the living may know that is so awesome. the most high rules oh, God. in the so kingdom good. of it and will give it to whoever oh. he will and set it up over it, the base of the lowest of men. That's so awesome. This dream I, King, verse 18, this, king, this dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now, therefore, Belteshazzar, Daniel, the interpretation thereof, for as much as all the wise men of my kingdom, every, I don't have anybody on my payroll, all the witches and warlocks have no answer, no wizard, no Jezebel, none of my counselors, no psychologists, no philosophers, none, none of them have the answer. None of them are able to make known unto me the interpretation, but thou art able for the spirit of the Holy God is in thee. He knows something different about Daniel. Uh, not really doing a lot of hanging with Daniel until... Wow. Oh. And tell us a problem with all with witches and warlocks yeah. Yeah. can handle. No familiar spirit can come up with. Yeah. You say, well, how does that work? Well, the devil, no demon can understand you praying, you're praying in tongues. So I say, can't stand, you're praying in tongues. Oh, yes. Comes against you. Yeah. Okay. okay, so verse 19. Now, that basically, we that's, that's the introduction. So we come in. We, we, we're introduced to King Nebuchadnezzar, and just, uh, that's the, this is the second time that God has spoken to Nebuchadnezzar in a dream. Second time. Don't don't feel don't feel uh, real spiritual if you get a dream. Don't poof out your chest. Right. Kick your head back and get you a, a, a big website and say, I, I, I get dreams. <laughs> Here, an unbelieving king, a wicked king gets a dream. Right. Yeah. Yes. So then basically he calls in Daniel and he tells Daniel the dream. Now there's going to be a response, verse 19. Then Daniel, who they had named built the Shazar, was astonished for one hour. Wow. I'll, I'll, I'll say this one hour. Shocked. Yeah. Yeah. He's astonished, which means this. Stupefied. Stunned. What he sees, the interpretation, is so powerful, so if he is devastated, he's grown numb, he's amazed at the interpretation. You saw Pastor Jane soaking up a whole bunch of Kleenexes. She just saw God so high and lifted up, yeah. weeping. Yeah. Just met with God, did come to church, she came to meet with God. Yeah. And met with God, what we don't want to do to become comfortable coming in, going out for a not a week, not a month, not a year, for a decade, and not a country, not having life changing experience with the life changing God. Yes, she met with God. Yes. Go ahead and soak those Kleenex up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have faith to buy by the train. Amen. <laughs> we get all the men with the pickup trucks and we're back and yeah. we'll carry them up. What, what Daniel receiving the, the interpretation there, Robert, is shocked. He's astonished. It's so powerful, he he can't say anything for an hour. It's like we, there's a there's an anointing that's so strong that we call the paralyzed anointing. We we've had uh, remember one time having a guest speaker. We we met at uh, Boone Elementary School, uh, 89th of Warnell for one year and four months before we got this building. And I remember we had a guest speaker, and he, he pre and he was preaching just so powerful. I mean, so powerful. We're, we had the little amen towels, you know, we're waving them. We're, we're just dancing all over the place. Hey, man, we're just shouting and screaming. And right in the middle of the message, he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Amen. 
He said, I got to change my message. Halfway through the message. So I got to change my message. And what he preached was so powerful. It was that no one, no one stood up. No one waved the towel. No one said amen. It would paralyze you. And I could go into detail what a lot of what was said in there, but it exposed some real sin within the church. Wow. It exposed some sin. Within, and right in the middle of his message, he changed. We called the, as the first time we called the paralyzed anointing. No one said, it was, it was, it was like rude. It was like rude even. It wasn't a, the anointing was so proper, you didn't even say amen. It was just like, wow. you didn't want to take his attention. Oh. <laughs> the atmosphere was so arrested by God. Wow. Yes. Daniel sees something so great, so big, so powerful. For an hour, he can't say anything. Right. He's in the presence of the king. For an hour, he didn't say anything. Wow. Astonished for one hour. And his thoughts troubled him, which means terrified him, alarmed him. He began to tremble. He was dismayed. He became vexed. Mm -hmm. The king spoke unto him, realizing something going on within Daniel. And he tells Daniel, okay, basically what he's saying is, I've given you liberty to speak. Tell me what you saw. Now, you also need to use wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. you got to be careful of that. Yeah. Now, remember, God's going to do something because so that the living may know. Daniel's so troubled. He's astonished. He's shocked. He can't speak for an hour. And the king spoke and said, Daniel, don't let the dream or the interpretation thereof trouble you. Daniel answered and said, My Lord, the dream be to them that hate thee, and the interpretation them to your enemy. Very important you understand that. I didn't understand the first time I read that. The dream for them that hate you. Because there's going to be a discipline. God's going to deal with Nebuchadnezzar. But the very fact that they let the stump yeah. and the roots of the stump go down, yeah. the message would be say, I want <clears throat> God say, I want your enemies to know yes. when, when this happens to you, Nebuchadnezzar, enemies, don't go smite him, don't go kill him. Right. It will cost you. Wow. So he said this so that the enemy then that hate him would know. Wow. What I'm telling you, yeah. discipline, chastisement yeah. will come to Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. You may go through a season of chastisement yes. and discipline. Yeah. God may pull the rug out from yeah. under you. Yeah. If I won't humble myself, God will help me out. God has a methodical. God, God has methods. Yeah. Yeah. And the method that gets my attention may not get your attention, yeah. but my, yeah. the way God, one of the many methods that God had with me, I don't get my way. Yeah. 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 Now I pooped up my chest. I said, I'll wait you out. Oh. <laughs> then I realized, wait a minute, God's eternal. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> delete. <laughs> delete. <laughs> Even in a season of chest, I'm going to deal with you, Nebuchadnezzar. And I'm going I'm to make a new fight from the very beginning. The, inter the first thing you come with the interpretation is for your, uh, I'm speaking so your enemies and those that hate you will understand. Wow. Don't mess with this man while I'm dealing with him. Wow. Be careful messing with someone who's bachelor and falling away. Yes. Be careful. Wow. I'm going to discipline Nebuchadnezzar that the living may know. Yes. And I will it's discipline so him in such a way. I will put a hedge around him. I'm going to make a decree. Enemies, I want you to know, don't mess with him. Wow. That's Amen. so awesome. Amen. Even when I'm chastising him, yes. seriously, yes. you better not mess with him. I'll stop you from getting to him. Oh. You'll not kill him. Yes. You'll not kill him while he's away from God. Oh, oh my God. God. A revelation of the very heart of God. Yes. He's saying, Nebuchadnezzar, you got the wrong heart. Yes. So I'll, I'll just let things go from bed to worse yes. floor. Yes. 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 
about. I'm going to do something that will get your attention. That the living may know. And I will even, I'm going to deal with you so powerfully, so influentially, Nebuchadnezzar. I will, I will show you my power that while you're whacked out, I'm going to keep you, then your enemy, then the hatred. I want to keep, I want to keep it from you. You may put yourself in a whacked out crazy situation and go up a duck in. Give his angel charge over you. That's why we need to pray for angelic protection. Come on, take that God. Those what that watch of the Holy One are angels. The angel said, O Lord, the dream is to them that hate thee. And the interpretation there is for your enemy. The tree that you saw, which grew, was strong, whose height reached unto the heaven, and the sight thereof to all men, whose leaves were fair, and the fruit thereof much, and in it was much meat for all, under which the beast of the field dwelt, upon all the branches of the fowls of heaven had their habitation, it's you, O Cain. You, you are the one that has grown. You have become strong, for your greatness has grown. And your greatness has reached all the way to heaven. Oh. Mr. Brian, would you go turn that plane over there high? It's on medium right now. It's on high for me, if you would, please. You are the one. The fowls are there. The habitat is you, Cain, verse 22. You're the one that's grown, you have become strong, and your greatness has grown, and reaches in the heaven thy dominion to the end of the earth. And whereas the king saw a watcher, the king saw a watcher? Yes, he did. And a holy one? Yeah. Coming down from heaven, coming down from where? Yeah, from heaven. Messengers? Yes. They got a message. Yes. And the message is from heaven. And the message is going to be uh, not oh. only to the living one, but to yeah. his enemies yeah. and to Nebuchadnezzar. There's going to be a decree, a demand. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. And the decree and the demand is cut down the tree, cut down the tree, destroy it, which means loot, yet leave the, leave the stump of the roots there in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field, let it be wet in the dew of heaven, let his portion be with the beasts of the field, until seven times pass over him. No. Verse 24, this is the interpretation. You, Cain, this is the decree of the Most High, which has come upon my Lord, the King, that they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling place shall be the beasts of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen. Eat grass as oxen. Yeah. Eat grass as oxen. I've been hungry before, but I have never been. Now, there's a little difference in society today. Uh, today they call it Puffin on evil weed. Yeah. <laughs> In my day, they call it grass. Yes. We would never eat any grass, but we smoke grass. Yeah. Oh, look at some people. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, why is that quiet right there? Awkwardly quiet. And the more I ponder that, we, we did eat some grass. Yes. We started making brownies. Oh, Suddenly yes. we became, oh, we started making brownies yes, and we put some. Oh, yes. Now today they're called wheat Alice and Monday they're called the grass. Alice and a whole bunch of people, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> okay. Some of you, the hell came out and some of them were spinning. Eating the grass was good too. That was, Oh, gee, they help us. Yes, no. yes, yes. Yeah, thank God. They yes. shall make you eat grass. Yeah. That's not brownies for the evil we did it. No. Yeah. They shall wet thee as the dew of the heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee. Seven times wow. represents no. seven years. Yeah. God in his wisdom knows exactly how long it's going to take for this guy to confess yes. and repent. Yes. 
I got some question today. How much trouble will I put myself through until I surrender? How much tribulation? Yeah. How many trials? How many storms? Yeah. Oh. Will I put myself through too? Yeah. That's true. Thank God for God. Yeah. Amen. And seven times shall pass the over and tell you no. You got to know for yourself. You got to yes, find God Lord. for yourself. Yes, Lord. Until yes. you know that the Most High rules in the really kingdom does. of Him. You got to know this for yourself, Nebuchadnezzar. And God can give it to whoever He wants to. That's awesome. And whereas they commanded to leave the stump in the tree roots, thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee. After that shall have been known to the heavens do rule. We're in, okay, now, basically, what Daniel just said there, the stump being there with the roots remaining, is that you could get this back. Uh -huh. Now, there's an altar call. Oh, boy. Yeah. Then you're going to give the king an altar call. Amen. Here's the altar call. Wow. The altar call is in verse 27. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be accepted of thee. Break off your sin. Yes, wow. Lord. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel <laughs> is technically a slave in Babylon, wow. and you tell the king that can whack him, Ooh. repent. Oh. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's what he's saying. That's, That's so awesome. That's why when he saw this, he read, and the interpretation came, he stayed there for a while, yeah. computing. Yeah. Oh. Well, this was fun, you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh. interpreting something, but this one could cost me. Yes. Yes. And I got to evaluate. Am I that com am I that committed? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Help us down. I had good doctrine. I had good theory. Good teaching. Yeah. Now it's got to become a real. Am I willing to pay that call? Oh, yes. Do I oh, preach across real yeah. well and avoid my own? We got to break out of our cocoons. Yeah. Yeah. Come and trick our little cocoons. Oh. Our own prison cell, our own personal prison cell of unbelief. Yes. 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 Wow, Help me, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Verse 27, the altar call. He, the dream, God, God messes, God gives him a dream. And the dream is to, to change his life. The dream behind it is to give him a change of heart. But he would never sprung properly, so his heart goes from bad to worse. worse. Yes. Yep. Things can go bad and get worse, yes. but doesn't eliminate you. Amen. God can steal. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, Lord. Wherefore, O King, let my counsel be acceptable to thee. Break off your sins yep. by righteousness in your iniquities. Jesus. Tell him the king. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find it so astounding this morning. The people from the nation, they understand kings and kingdoms and, and some of these, some of the country. You, you, those days and still today, you just don't go to some king to some, some uh, uh, nation. Repent. Quit your sin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If the king's in the bad news, he doesn't even like your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yes, Lord. Now listen to the wisdom of Daniel. Yeah. Oh, King, let my counsel be acceptable to you. Break off your sins by righteousness. Change from sin to righteousness. Amen. Stop your iniquity by showing mercy to the poor. Oh, Lord. He gives him a word. Mm -hmm. wow. And in the word there's an yes. And he will stand back. God will stand back and see, will he come into alignment with the assignment? Yes, Lord. Now let me just put this in here. When he says, be nice, kind to the poor, he's not saying, you know, go downtown and to find a hobo on the bridge. Find someone ho you know, homeless and buying don't take it to the McDonald's, give me a cheeseburger fry. Who's the poor that day? Yeah. God's children. Yeah. Who he's made slaves. Yeah. Wow. Even while God's children are being chastised and being disciplined in Babylon, 
If Nebuchadnezzar been mistreated, he's wow. given him a word. I'm going to tell you the way out of it, Nebuchadnezzar. Wow. The people you have been abusing, wow. I've been chastising them. Wow. Wow. Amen. But you're abusing them. You're taking them too far. I'm going to deal with you. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 Well, the back up they were spent after 400 years in Egypt, which speaks of the world, represents bondage. 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. They got to the promised land. When they got to the promised land, they defiled it, they contaminated it, they polluted it. God said to the prophet of the kingdom, bought them, ridiculed them, put them in prison, beat up on them. God said, okay, said, you're in the promised land, but Babylon's in your heart. I'm just going to let you spend 70 years in Babylon until... I will I will give you enough of what you think you want and tell you're sick of it. Wow. Amen. So there they are in Babylon, type of the world, being disciplined and chastised by God. God only chastises them that he loves. So God is out to restore the very if God starts something, he started it by bringing them out of Egypt. Yes. What is God saying? What did he say? I, uh, oh. I've come too I'll never go back. I've come too far. Here's what God saying. I've invested too much in you, Hebrew yeah. children. Yeah. I started the thing. If I start the thing, I got to go beat this thing. I brought you up. I got you in. If I got you out, then what? I can do it again. 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 He's mistreated the people that God is chastising and begin to abusing them. He's building buildings Keeping for him sound, yeah. Yeah. using and abusing and misusing God's people, that's not going to work. No. Amen. Yeah. Even in a season of chastisement. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. yes, yes. I hope I have time that to finish. That is awesome. That's yeah. God. Yeah. That is so I hope I have time to go where I want to go. Sometimes y'all keep me in church for quiet. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. First, you don't succeed. I tried that. Oh, I got a stack of them over there. The wisdom, that, that's very important, though. I want to really hammer the home. That what what Nebuchadnezzar is doing is abusing, misusing. God will even chastise in a tender, gentle way. And what he, he he's he has a way of getting the Hebrew children attention. Yes, so awesome. But when Nebuchadnezzar begins to take it too far, yes. God says, "Okay." Thank you, Lord. There's been a decree spoken over you, Nebuchadnezzar, but there's a way out. Yes, always. And the way out is show mercy to the poor. Yes, Lord. Oh, that's the people that you've been using to build your kingdom. Oh. If it may be a lengthening, it may be a lengthening of your tranquility, which means your safety. Your security, your prosperity, your peace, your quietness could be extended. Wow. Did God give him a word? That did yeah. did yeah. God give him a way out? Yeah. Yes. What, what he said? Mercy? Mercy. If you if you oh. start a garden out here in the backyard and, and you plant corn, what's gonna come up? Corn. And if you, if you plant a cucumbers, what's gonna come up? Cucumbers. If you sow mercy, what will you reap? Mercy. Mercy. Yeah. Yes. So he says, okay, now listen, I'm going to touch your heart. Yes, Lord. There's been a decree, something has been spoken over to you, and what and what has been spoken to the spirit realm, the wages of sin is? Yes. But i got an answer, i got an antidote. Oh, yes, oh, Lord, thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, glory. Even in his chastisement, even in his discipline, yes. God, the, even with the children of Israel being disciplined, God protected them, you're not going to abuse 
Amen. 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 So awesome. Amen. Awesome. Amen. I'm blessed of the blessing. I'm cursed of the curse. Yes. 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 Amen. So I'm going to give you a way out. I'm going to give you a word through Daniel the prophet, a type of the prophetic church that has a sense of her people problem. Nebuchadnezzar has a problem. Yes. I do. Verse 28. All this then came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. Twelve months go by. God's been watching. Wow. That's awesome. He's got watchers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The holy ones. Does God know what we do? Yes. yes. Does God know where we go? Yes. yes. Does God know what we say? Yes. Does God even know what we think? Yes. yes. Does God even know the hair, the hairs on our head? Yes. And got them numbered? Yes. So does He know what Nebuchadnezzar is? He given, have you given Nebuchadnezzar a way out? Yes. Have you given you and I the way out? Amen. Yes. People that we know that's away, the being yes. chastised. Yes. Has God given them a way out? Yes. Well, hang on, because we're going somewhere. Yes. Right. Always is a way. At the end of 12 months, what a picture of the mercy of God. He gives him a will and waits the patience of God. I want, I, want you just, I want you to just think of a tremendously skilled artist. That would, let's just say the whole wall is just a beautiful, like this uh, canvas, and a tremendous artist would come and just... Put a beautiful picture, beautiful scenic picture up there. You can just look at that picture. Oh, that picture just beautiful. How scenic. What we need is a picture. We need to be able to picture the mercy of God. Yes. Because mercy will triumph over judgment. Yes. Yes. We need to picture the patience of God. Yes. All that Nebuchadnezzar had done. Yes, wow. So there's been a decree over here and God makes a wave escape. Ooh. And waits 12 months. I've told you before that God's so patient, he'll be on your nerves. <laughs> we love him when God's patient with us. Yeah. You're going to wait 12 months to deal with... <laughs> Who is it that we know God you just... I'll tell you. Let me call down some... <laughs> after the... Oh, after man. your... Uh, after my eyes... Became a little open. I wasn't so quick to call down the. Because I began to understand what I saw. So I began to call down some mercy. God can be so patient. He's even patient with Nebuchadnezzar, who is abusing his people. You are abusing, misusing my people. That I'm chastising them. I got them hid someplace. Wow. And I'm going to bring them back. Wow. Oh. And you're misusing and abusing my people. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So I got to deal with you. I'm dealing with them. I got to deal with you. So the whole God got yes. to do a whole other deal. At the end of 12 minutes, Nebuchadnezzar walked into the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. And the king spoke. At the 12 months. No confession, no repentance, no hope in the poor, no release in the, no release in those that are in slavery. You have to understand that today there's more people. That's what uh, people have studied such things. They said there's more people in slavery today than any time in the history of the planet. It's it's all the girls and sex sex slaves. Yeah, yes. But just uh, last week, caught uh, someone caught in uh, Overland Park. Uh, uh, Policeman stopped some up for a speed God. ticket and they had a young girl in there. Wow. Right Thank here in Oval Park. Yeah. Yeah. And, a, and a, 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 a sex slavery. Wow. The more people in slavery today yes. than any time in history, Paul Planet yes. Earth, yes. is what the people who study such things say. That's true. Okay. Yes. okay, so at the end of 12 months, the patience of God, God's waiting. Will he confess? Will he repent? Will he do what I told? Will he will he release the people? Will he stop torturing? Will he stop misusing? Will he stop abusing? 
And Nebuchadnezzar walked into the palace of, of the kingdom of Babylon, and the king spoke and said, Is this not great Babylon that I... Oh, boy. <laughs> I have built this kingdom. I have built this house of the kingdom of the might of my power for the honor of my majesty. While the word was still in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, Trouble. Yeah. The patience of God, the love of God, the mercy of God. 12 months. Wow. And he walks into the palace, poops out his chest, kicked back the head, my kingdom. Wow. Right in the face of God who yes. extended the hand of mercy. Yes. Oh. Well, the word was still in the king's mouth. Verse 31, the fellow voice.